I know you have to run in a minute, Bob. We talked about this on our, one of our chats a while ago. Um, you and Frank last week mentioned it, um, but there were a lot of folks who weren't here. What about the tropics? Uh, the tropics, uh, we're, looking at, uh, uh, we're looking at pretty much an average uh, tropical season. In fact, I got the forecast right here. Um, for, uh, for the AccuWeather Atlantic forecast season, uh, we're forecasting 12 tropical storms, five hurricanes, two major hurricanes. Uh, now, this is what the normal is. Uh, 12 tropical storms is normal, six hurricanes, uh, two major hurricanes. So we're pretty much forecasting a normal hurricane season. Uh, last year, we had 19 tropical storms, seven hurricanes, and four major hurricanes. Uh, but this year is a little different. Well, the numbers are down, but uh, there could be uh, a little bit of chance that, uh, that one of these systems does affect uh, Florida. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, I guess, been, it's been several years here since there's been a strike in Florida. And, uh, you know, the odds do favor, uh, um, let's say, Florida getting struck with a, with a tropical uh, system here, perhaps a hurricane. So even though the numbers are down, uh, there still could be some, uh, definitely some trouble uh, with a strike, you know, reaching the United States here this season. And, and real quick, I'm going to go on a site that we love. And Mike, um, one of our viewers out here, this is his site, SpaghettiModels.com. I showed you this last week, and I know on the left side of his screen, he has um, the maps that show what is normal for a particular month. And I think this is probably June, and there it is. So if you look at here, I will zoom in for the folks out there watching. What's interesting about June, and I'll show this now because it relates to us, look where yep. the majority of those storms develop in the month of June. That's right. You know, that, we're, we're thinking the same thing here at uh, AccuWeather, that uh, there could be some home brew, so to speak, or systems that uh, develop real tight. Uh, to the coast here, maybe even right near Florida. Uh, so that's, uh, and that's part of the uh, uh, reason why we think uh, that it's going to be moist here. Uh, you know, the, the, as we come out of the spring into the summer, uh, we're going to moisten up here for the peninsula. So that's, that kind of fits in with our forecast. Um, uh, there's a lot, there's several uh, factors going into the uh, forecast this year. Uh, we have uh, a La Nina switching to an El Nino. We have uh, a lot of shear right now across the Atlantic Basin. And uh, if we do go into an El Nino uh, at the middle of the season, uh, that could put a lot of shear toward the end of the season. So there's only a small window uh, right in the heart of the season where we should see some pretty uh, robust development. Uh, so and, uh, uh, it's probably uh, a fair game from, uh, let's say, the eastern Gulf of Mexico up to uh, mid-Atlantic coast uh, for p potential for a hurricane strike. And water temperatures quickly. Uh, this is from Weather Underground. Um, I know you got to run. Um, uh, are they normal? About, about 30 seconds. Okay, they? water temperatures, are they about normal? Are they above normal? Should that have an impact or don't you see uh, that? They're impact? above normal in the Gulf of Mexico, mm -hmm. and, but they're actually below normal in the eastern Atlantic. So that, that kind of rules out uh, a bunch of Cape Verde storms developing in the eastern Atlantic, like the, you know, the great hurricane that develops out in the eastern Atlantic, arcs all the way into the United States. We, we don't expect a whole lot of those going on because of... Uh, the cooler waters there in the eastern Atlantic. Okay, thanks, Bob, and i got to run. We'll talk to you soon. All right, you guys. Have a good one. Thanks, sir. Bye-bye. So there you go. That was Bob Smurbeck, meteorologist at AccuWeather, all-around good guy. You guys didn't even have a chance to say goodbye to him because it was such a, uh, a he was that close to the to the uh, gun for getting on the air. So um, so anyway, so there you have it. According to AccuWeather, and again, this is Mike's page, that's spaghettimodels.com, and here is one other last look at our radar. And let's go ahead and take a look actually at the bigger picture and see if there's anything else popping.